Alright, welcome to the third video in the protein structure tutorial. And in this video, um, we're just going to try to look at the important protein to ligand interactions. And we're going we're to look at trying to identify those interactions. And it's important to keep in mind that just looking at the structure alone kind of gives us a limited perspective on uh, what the important regions in the protein are. So when you're doing this, you typically want to use uh, bioinformatics and homology searching as kind of a way to to definitely find these regions of interest uh, as well. So the type of interactions we're going to look for today um, are usually, or for any protein, uh, are usually hydrogen bonding, like ionic interactions, or dipole-dipole interactions. And the ionic interactions you'll typically see are usually between like a positively charged amino acid and a negatively charged amino acid or a negatively charged region in the ligand. And if you'll remember from the previous two tutorials, uh, we've been looking at an HIV protease, and so the ligand in this case is an inhibitor of, of HIV protease. So um, we're going to go ahead and use some of PyMol's tools to help identify these contacts. So if you go ahead and click on the inhibitor, it'll bring up the selection pane. And we're going to use the A button. And we're going to go to Find Polar Contacts. And then to Others Excluding Solvent. And that's going to bring up all the important contacts between the ligand and the protein. And they're represented as these uh, yellow dashes. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the ligand again. And I'm going to use Pymol's zoom tool. So I'm going to go to A for the selection again. And I'm going to go to zoom. Okay, and Pymol zooms in a little too much, so I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Um, and remember, zooming out, you just click on your right hand mouse button. So I'm going to deselect the inhibitor. And basically, uh, usually what I try to do is Previously, having do, done a bioinformatics search, um, I'll try to pick out the amino acids from that. Or you can kind of just uh, try to highlight regions where these contacts might touch the protein. So I'm, I'm going to try to find basically uh, the important amino acids um, that coordinate the ligand. So I'm just going to try to identify what residue this might be um, where the, the ligand interacts with this piece of coil. So if you click on the shift key on your keyboard and hold that down and then left click on your mouse, you'll get a selection box. And what the selection box does is it just highlights any ligands or residues that might be found in this area. So I've highlighted a few residues, and when you highlight something in Pymol, it's kind of helpful because um, it highlights it not only on the structure here, but also in the sequence. So you can see we've highlighted uh, a few residues in the sequence. It looks like uh, an aspartic acid. And I'm just going to try to zoom in. And we can actually highlight these, these residues. And I'm 
just going to deselect. So it looks like we've we've highlighted um, a few residues in this region. 